Hello everyone, it's that time of year again when we start to feel the chill in the air and the days grow shorter. As autumn fades, meteorologists are already focused on the coming winter. The vibrant colors of autumn leaves are giving way to the stark beauty of bare branches, signaling the change of seasons. The UK's weather is famously unpredictable. Sunshine one day, storms the next but it's the threat of severe events like blizzards that demand our attention. These dramatic shifts can catch us off guard if we're not prepared. Early awareness is key. The patterns shaping our winter are forming now, high in the atmosphere and far from our shores. These patterns are like a complex puzzle and understanding them helps us anticipate what's to come. By understanding these signals, we can prepare our homes, travel plans, and look out for vulnerable neighbors before the first snow falls. It's about community and ensuring everyone is ready for the challenges winter brings. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore what makes a blizzard, what this winter might bring, and how you can stay safe. We'll delve into the science behind these storms and offer practical tips for staying warm and secure. So grab a cuppa, get comfortable, and let's talk about winter, a season that's magical, but always demands respect. Whether you're a winter enthusiast or prefer the warmth of indoors, there's something enchanting about this time of year. What exactly is a blizzard? It's more than just heavy snow. Officially, a blizzard means strong winds over 35 millimasmals in heavy or blowing snow and visibility under a quarter mile for at least three hours. In the UK, blizzards form when cold Arctic air meets moist Atlantic systems, creating the perfect storm. The result? Whiteout conditions, deep drifts and travel chaos. The dangers are real. Hypothermia, impassable roads, power cuts, and rural communities cut off for days. Unlike a gentle snowfall, a blizzard is a destructive force that can bury cars and trap people in their homes. That's why we take blizzard warnings seriously. Preparation is absolutely key. Understanding the difference between snow and a blizzard could save your life. The polar vortex just the name alone conjures images of swirling icy winds and dramatic winter scenes. It might sound like something out of a science fiction film, but the polar vortex is very real and it's a major force behind the winter weather we experience here in the UK and across the Northern Hemisphere. This powerful system is a true driver of our winter weather, shaping the cold spells and snowstorms that define the season. The polar vortex is essentially a vast, swirling mass of extremely cold air that sits high above the Arctic, usually contained by strong winds that circle the pole and keep the chill locked away. But sometimes those winds weaken or the vortex splits apart, allowing the cold air to escape its Arctic prison. When this happens, frigid Arctic air can surge southward, sweeping across Europe and sometimes reaching as far as the UK, bringing with it a dramatic drop in temperatures and the potential for severe winter weather. This escape of cold air is often triggered by a phenomenon called sudden stratospheric warming, or SSW. This is when temperatures high up in the stratosphere suddenly rise by several degrees, disrupting the polar vortex and setting off a chain reaction in our weather patterns. A dramatic example of this was the infamous Beast from the East in 2018, when a weakened vortex unleashed bitter Siberian air across Britain, resulting in heavy snow, blizzards and travel chaos for days. That's why meteorologists keep a close eye on the polar vortex and any signs of SSW. These early warnings help us prepare for the possibility of severe cold snaps and snowstorms. While not every sudden stratospheric warming event leads to a blizzard, it certainly increases the odds of a harsh winter, making it a key factor in seasonal forecasts. By monitoring these global atmospheric shifts, 
scientists can give us the earliest possible warnings, helping communities and services get ready for whatever winter might bring. The polar vortex truly is our winter nemesis. When it falters, the consequences can be dramatic. Staying informed and prepared is our best defense against its icy grip. So, what's in store for winter 2025? Current models show a higher chance of a sudden stratospheric warming event in late December or early January. If this happens, expect the coldest, snowiest weather from mid-January into February. A blocking high over Scandinavia or Greenland could steer bitter winds and snow across the UK. Classic blizzard setup. While forecasts aren't guarantees, the signals for a cold, snowy winter are stronger than in recent years. The Met Office's outlook highlights increased risk of severe cold and wintry hazards. Now's the time to prepare. Don't wait for the first flake to fall. To grasp winter's impact, look back to the big freeze of 1962-63. It began with a blizzard after Christmas, then ten weeks of relentless cold. Gale force winds created drifts up to 20 feet deep, cutting off entire villages. Farmers lost livestock, roads and railways were blocked, and the Thames froze over. Supplies ran low, helicopters dropped essentials to stranded communities. For months, temperatures barely rose above freezing, transforming the landscape into a frozen, dangerous world. The Big Freeze stretched emergency services to their limits and disrupted every aspect of life. While technology has improved, the threat of a severe winter remains. Learning from 1963 reminds us why preparation matters. Many remember the beast from the east in 2018, a modern blizzard that brought the UK to a halt. A sudden stratospheric warming event unleashed Siberian air, and Storm Emma added heavy snow and gales. Red warnings were issued. Roads like the M62 became impassable, trapping hundreds overnight. RAF helicopters delivered supplies to cut off communities, and emergency workers braved waist-deep snow to reach those in need. The economic and human costs were huge. Power cuts, travel chaos, and real danger for anyone caught outside. The lesson? Even with modern tech, severe blizzards can paralyze the country. When warnings are issued, take them seriously. When a blizzard warning comes, your home is your safest place if you're prepared. Have backup heating, fuel for fires, extra blankets, and warm clothes. Stock up on food and water for at least three days plus any essential medications. Prepare an emergency kit, torch, batteries, radio, first aid kit, and a charged power bank. Keep emergency numbers handy. Secure outdoor items and know how to turn off your water supply in case of burst pipes. Simple steps, like closing curtains at dusk, help retain heat. These preparations can make all the difference when the storm hits. Stay ready, stay safe. The golden rule during a blizzard is simple but crucial. Don't travel unless it's absolutely essential. Blizzards can turn even the most familiar roads into dangerous traps, and venturing out puts you at serious risk. If you can, stay indoors and wait for the storm to pass. No journey is worth risking your life. Whiteouts, deep snowdrifts, and blocked roads make driving extremely hazardous. Visibility can drop to near zero in seconds, and you might not see obstacles or stranded vehicles until it's too late. If you get stuck, help may be hours away, especially if emergency services are overwhelmed. If you absolutely must travel, take every precaution. Tell someone your planned route and estimated arrival time. Fully charge your phone before leaving, and pack a comprehensive winter emergency kit. This should include a shovel, warm blankets, high-energy food, bottled water, a torch, extra batteries, and plenty of warm clothes. Don't forget a first aid kit and any essential medications. 
Make sure your fuel tank is full before setting off, as you may need to keep the engine running for warmth if you get stranded. Top up your screen wash with a winter grade solution to keep your windscreen clear of snow and ice. On the road, drive slowly and cautiously. Leave much more space than usual between you and the car in front, as stopping distances increase dramatically on snow and ice. Use gentle steering, acceleration and braking to avoid skidding or losing control. If you do get stuck, stay with your vehicle. It's your best shelter against the cold and wind. Leaving your car can be extremely dangerous, especially if visibility is poor or you're far from help. Run the engine sparingly to conserve fuel and provide warmth, but always crack a window slightly for fresh air. Regularly check that the exhaust pipe isn't blocked by snow, as this can cause deadly carbon monoxide to build up inside the car. Never abandon your car unless you can clearly see a safe nearby shelter. Wandering off in a blizzard can quickly lead to disorientation and hypothermia. Stay calm, use your phone to call for help, and wait patiently for rescue. Keep your phone on low power mode to conserve battery if needed. Remember, your safety always comes first. Don't take unnecessary risks. It's better to arrive late, or not at all, than to put yourself in danger during a blizzard. In severe weather, trusted information saves lives. The Met Office issues color-coded warnings. Yellow, be aware. Amber, be prepared. And red, take action. Check updates on the Met Office website, app, BBC Radio and TV. Understand key terms. Wind chill means it feels colder than the temperature. Snowdrifts are deep piles that block roads. This winter, the risk of severe cold and blizzards is higher than usual. Prepare your home, avoid unnecessary travel, and monitor official warnings. By staying informed and ready, we can all get through winter safely. Stay tuned and stay safe.